In the previous presentation, I explained how we can differentiate the signal waveforms following the graphical method and the mathematical method and after solving two examples, it was clear to us that following the graphical method is easier as compared to the mathematical method. For example, if you have signal xt and the waveform of the signal xt is given, then you can obtain the waveform of signal dxt by dt which is the first derivative of signal xt in one step. So by following the graphical method, you can have the waveform of derivative in one step. On the other hand, if you choose to follow the mathematical method, then you first need to obtain the mathematical representation of signal xt itself and you can do this by the help of given waveform. So this is step number one and after this you need to perform the differentiation and we already know how to perform the differentiation of functions and after performing the differentiation you will have something here and then you again need to plot the waveform of the differentiated signal. So it is a three step process and thus it is time consuming as compared to the graphical method. So in this lecture we will solve three problems which you can see on your screen by only following the graphical method. But there is one constraint over the graphical method. The graphical method is only used for the signals which are related to ramp and step. And in this lecture you can see all the signals are related to ramp and step. So we can start with the first problem. In the first problem you can see the waveform and we will start from the left side of the waveform. From minus infinity to minus 2 the signal is equal to 0. It is a constant value and the slope of the signal is 0. For constant the slope is going to be 0. So we have the waveform like this from minus infinity to minus 2 and from minus 2 to 0 the signal is having some slope. Now our task is to find out the sign of the slope and the magnitude of the slope. To find out the sign you can extend the line like this and now you can see this line is making an angle with x axis which is greater than 90 degree. So the sign is going to be negative and the magnitude calculation is very easy. It is equal to 4 divided by 2. So the magnitude is equal to 2 and the sign is negative and it will remain same throughout this interval from minus 2 to 0. So we have minus 2, minus 2 from minus 2 to 0. So the signal waveform will look like this. Now from 0 to 2 there is some slope and slope this time is positive. You can extend the line like this and you can see the angle made by the line with the x-axis in anti-clockwise direction is less than 90 degree. So the slope is positive and the magnitude of the slope is equal to 4 divided by 2. So magnitude is same as compared to the previous case but the sign is different. So the waveform will look like this. And again from 2 to infinity the signal is equal to 0 and it is constant so slope will be 0. So you can see it is very easy to obtain the waveform of differentiated signal by using the graphical method and now we will solve the second problem. I will do the same thing in this case also. We will start from the left from minus infinity to 0. Signal xt is equal to 0. It is a constant so the slope is going to be 0. Now if you follow the signal flow you will find when t is equal to 0 there is discontinuity and discontinuity is equal to 2 because we are switching from 0 to 2 so discontinuity discontinuity is equal to 2 when t is equal to 0 and we already know discontinuity is equal to the weight or strength of the impulse. So we will have impulse when t is equal to 0 and we know the reason why we are having the impulse because if you see the line when t is equal to 0 we have a perpendicular and perpendicular is having the slope equal to infinity. So in terms of signals we can have the impulse signal because impulse is having the value equal to infinity and the strength of the impulse is equal to the discontinuity and we represent the strength along with the impulse. So I will write down 2 here. In the same way we will move forward and we have a constant value equal to 2 from 0 to 1. So for constants the slope is equal to 0. And when t is equal to 1 you can see we again have discontinuity. And this time the discontinuity is from 2 to minus 3. So if you see the net value of discontinuity it will be 5. 
and the sign of the weight or strength of impulse will be negative so we have negative of 5 as the sign of the strength or weight of the impulse so this is what we have when t is equal to 1 now from 1 to 2 again we have a constant value equal to minus 3 so the slope is going to be 0 when t is equal to 2 we have discontinuity and this time we have rising edge and the discontinuity is having the net value equal to 8 from minus 3 to 5 the net value is equal to 8 and the sign of the strength will be positive because we have rising edge in this case we were having falling edge so we have an impulse with weight equal to 8 after this from 2 to 3 we have a constant value so we will have 0 as the slope and when t is equal to 3 you can see we again have the discontinuity so we will have an impulse signal which will be like this and the strength of the impulse signal is equal to minus 5 because the discontinuity is equal to 5 and as it is falling edge we will have minus of 5 and from 3 to infinity the signal is equal to 0 which is a constant so again the slope is going to be 0 so this is the final waveform of the derivative of signal xt the first derivative and we have obtained this by following the graphical method you can also obtain these two results by following the mathematical method if you want to do it you can do it i have already explained how to perform the calculations using the mathematical method in the previous lecture now we will solve the third problem in the third problem the waveform of signal vi t is given vi is the input voltage and this input voltage is applied to the negative terminal of the op amp we are having op amp here and by looking at the position of capacitor and the resistor you can say that this configuration is working as differentiator so signal vit will be differentiated but as you can see vit is applied to the negative terminal of the op amp the input will be reversed so whatever you are going to get will be reversed so it will differentiate as well as it will perform the amplitude reversal so we need to perform the two operations the first one is the differentiation and the second one is the amplitude reversal and we already know how to perform the differentiation and also how to perform the amplitude reversal so let's do it quickly we will first find out d v i t by dt which is the first derivative of the input signal and then we will find out v o t and v o t the output voltage is negative which shows the amplitude reversal and after this we will have d v i t by dt so let's quickly perform the differentiation we will start from the left initially the signal is constant equal to zero so the derivative will be zero and when t is equal to zero the signal starts to rise and it rises till two and there is some slope of the signal which is positive because you can see the angle made by the line with the x-axis in anti-clockwise direction is less than 90 degree so the slope is going to be positive and the magnitude of the slope will be 8 divided by 2 so we will have 4 we will have 4 from 0 to 2 like this now when t is equal to 2 the value of signal vit starts to decrease and it decreases till t equal to 4 and the final value is minus 4 so again there is one straight line with negative slope because the angle is greater than 90 degree and the magnitude of the slope will be 12 divided by 2 okay 12 this length is 12 then divided by 2 so the magnitude will be 6 and the sign will be negative so we will have minus 6 from 2 to 4 and after this the value of signal is constant equal to minus 4 till infinity so we will have 0 as the slope so this is the final waveform of signal dvit by dt and now we need to perform the amplitude reversal so we will quickly perform the amplitude reversal and we will have something like this from 0 to 2 signal dvit by dt was equal to 4 so from 0 to 2 we will have minus 4 we are performing the amplitude reversal and from 2 to 4 signal dvit by dt was equal to minus 6 so we will have plus 6 from 2 to 4 
So this is the answer. This is the waveform which we will have as the output of this circuit if input is having the waveform like this. So I think this is all for the differentiation of signal waveforms and from the next lecture we will start integration. Integration is important so we will focus more on integration.